Want to teach your kids financial literacy, but not sure where to start? Greenlight can help. With Greenlight, parents can keep an eye on kids' spending and saving, while kids and teens use a card of their own to build money confidence. As a parent, you can send instant money transfers, set up chores, automate allowance, and more. It's a convenient way to run your household, customized to your family's needs, and the easy way to raise financially smart kids. Get started with Greenlight today and get your first month free at greenlight.com slash Spotify. My dad works in B2B marketing. He came by my school for career day and said he was a big ROAS man. Then he told everyone how much he loved calculating his return on ad spend. My friends still laugh at me to this day. Not everyone gets B2B, but with LinkedIn, you'll be able to reach people who do. Get a $100 credit on your next ad campaign. Go to linkedin.com slash results to claim your credit. That's linkedin.com slash results. Terms and conditions apply. LinkedIn, the place to be. To be. This is Optimal Finance Daily, the most important financial habit and why a simple financial strategy works, both by Derek Van Ness of BigLifeFinancial.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. For now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. The Most Important Financial Habit by Derek Van Ness of BigLifeFinancial.com. Imagine you just bought your dream car. How would it feel to sit behind the wheel with your windows rolled down and the fresh wind blowing across your skin? The rumble of the engine tickling you as your favorite song plays on the radio, making you want to sing at the top of your lungs. And you can't believe how great it feels to lean into the incredibly comfortable seat. Everywhere you go, people see your car and gaze in admiration at how beautiful it is rolling down the road. Then suddenly, the engine stops cold not even a gurgle as it freezes and leaves you sitting in a lifeless, soundless hunk of metal going nowhere. Just 30 seconds ago, you were living the good life, but now you're wondering how you're going to get anywhere. What changed? The engine stopped, that's what. In a car, your engine is everything. Without it, you can't move anywhere. The windows don't work and even the radio stops. The engine is the entire foundation of what makes a car go. Your financial life is the same thing. It has a lot of fluffy bells and whistles that can be exciting, but without the engine, none of it works. So what's the financial engine in your life? Learning to save. I know, I know, that's not very sexy, but it's incredibly important. To think about it, if you never saved any money, how would you grow your business? How would you invest? How would you ever go on vacation, buy a house, or do anything that costs more than a single paycheck? Learning to systematically save is literally the difference between people who become incredibly wealthy and those who live paycheck to paycheck. Yes, even if you make a lot of money. I've worked with thousands of small business owners and I've seen this play out in every single case. I've helped people who make less than $50,000 a year and are building wealth. And I've worked with too many people that make $50,000 a month and are broke. The broke ones spend every penny they make and live in constant fear. How is that possible? Because they never learn to save. That's it. Seriously, the broke ones are smart people and they are doing a lot of things right, but they never figured out how to set aside money from each payday and it's killing them. It's hard on their health, it strains their marriage, and it will be very hard on them when life throws a curveball and they have nothing to fall back on. Before you learn to run, you must learn to walk. Before the windows and radio work in the car, the engine has to be firing. Before you can build wealth and invest effectively, you must learn to save. If you aren't already, start setting aside at least 10% of every dollar you make. Unless you are absolutely broke already, you should be able to do that quite easily. Then, once you're used to 10%, bump it up to 15 and then 20% you'll be amazed at how quickly the money builds up. Guess what else builds up? Your confidence, your abundance, your optimism. Somehow the world looks a lot rosier when you've got financial strength and I want you to experience it. Saving isn't the only component of building wealth, but without it, you'll never even get out of the parking lot. Why a Simple Financial Strategy Works by Derek Van Ness of BigLifeFinancial.com. In life and in finances, simplicity is underestimated. 
The truth is simple things get done and the complex usually doesn't. In the end, results matter. So getting things done isn't optional. Within finances, having a complex master plan can be overwhelming and lead to paralysis, not to mention it's unnecessarily costly. Rather than fixating on the massive master plan, simply take the first step or begin with the most important action. By getting the first step right, you'll be setting yourself up to powerfully take the second step. Said another way, doing the most important and obvious things first, you lay a solid foundation. Anything large starts as something small. In fact, the complex is merely made up of many simple interlocking parts. In finance, the first steps may be obvious, but not glamorous. Take them anyway. For example, begin saving 10% or more of your income and never stop. As your income increases, your 10% savings should too. This seems obvious, but many won't take the time to carry it out. If you don't have one, then use that money to build up your emergency fund. Start with one to two months worth of expenses so that you can begin building peace of mind and confidence. Next comes another simple step. If you have inefficient debts, anything over a 7% interest rate, begin using that savings to pay off the debts. Paying off a 17% credit card has the same impact on your bottom line as earning 17% in an investment with no risk. Paying off bad debt isn't sexy, but it's incredibly effective. Don't skip this step. Once the bad debts are paid off, continue to save until you have three to six months worth of expenses. Again, this is simple, but it continues to build your confidence and help your mindset become one of abundance rather than fear or scarcity. This is a huge shift. If you simply continue to save 10 to 20% of your income and never invested a penny, you'd still end up ahead of 80% of the people in our country by retirement. It won't make you uber rich, but this plain and simple practice will single-handedly change your life. It takes time, but even with no other action, it works. Of course, once you've begun to build up savings, things can get more complex, but only if you let them. You'll wanna put your money to work earning for you, but that can be a large learning curve. The truth is developing a financial strategy doesn't have to be tricky, but with so many people looking to help you manage your money, it can be difficult to determine which way to go. Some will show you intricate plans with many moving pieces and in-depth flow charts. Others will ask you to hand them your money and never look at it until retirement. Neither of these is a good idea because if you don't understand what's happening, it's easy to lose confidence or get bamboozled. The good news is that you can keep wealth building simple and allow yourself to focus on what's really important, your loved ones, your health, and your work. If you get those right, you'll be winning the game of life. You just listened to the post titled The Most Important Financial Habit and Why a Simple Financial Strategy Works, both by Derek Van Ness of biglifefinancial.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. Whoa, landing an account this big will totally change my landscaping business. It's going to mean hiring more guys and more equipment and new trucks for the new guys to drive the new equipment in. I don't know if I'm ready. You can do this. And Ford Pro Fence Simple can help. Our experts are ready to make growing pains less painful for your business with flexible financing solutions that meet the needs of your business today when you need them. Get started at fordpro.com slash financing. This episode is brought to you by La Quinta by Window. Your work can take you all over the place, like Texas. You've never been, but it's going to be great because you're staying at La Quinta by Wyndham. Their free bright side breakfast will give you energy for the day ahead. And after, you can unwind using their free high-speed Wi-Fi. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you shine. Book your stay today at LQ.com. I love the great reminder here that we need to prioritize saving and make it a mindless habit. I see many people when they start getting interested in personal finance, immediately jump into investing or focus on increasing their income. And don't get me wrong, these are very important aspects of personal finance. But I believe the place to start is getting very clear on the gap between your income and expenses. That gap is your savings and the key to financial freedom is growing and investing that gap. You can grow the gap by increasing your income, reducing your expenses, or better yet, both. 
Now you've got some bandwidth to pay down high interest debts, build an emergency fund or an emergency slash opportunity fund, as I like to call it, and yes, invest for your future. If you only focus on increasing your income and aren't mindful about lifestyle creep and its effect on your expenses, you simply aren't minding the gap. I also appreciate how this second article reminds us that we don't need to overcomplicate our financial plans. Yes, there are plenty of opportunities to overcomplicate it, but we can also keep our finances pretty straightforward. Pay down debts, hold some cash for emergencies, and save and invest in low fee index funds for retirement. Easy peasy. That'll do it for another edition of Optimal Finance Daily. Thank you for continuing to listen. Have a great start to your weekend. And I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.